doesn't even the boobs do this. Oh my gosh, so heavy. Good morning and welcome to a book haul. I've decided to do these every quarter because that seems reasonable to me anyway. So today we have the winter haul because now it is technically spring, but these are all of the books that I have acquired through the winter. I really don't buy a ton of books. Most of the books that I read are from the library that I can do on audio or get them on my e-reader, but every once in a while you want to treat yourself. And so a lot of the books that I buy are either ones that me and my husband are both going to read, so it makes sense to have a copy of it, or pretty covers. Or some of these are books that I could not find at the library, so I did have to buy them. Keep trying to justify it to yourself. That'll work. There are quite a few. <laughs> I've put most, or at least some, in this giant reading tote that holds like, it's heavy, um, at least 10 books are in here. So we're gonna treat this like Mary Poppins' bag and just see what we can find. But not everything fit in there. So we're gonna start with all of the books that I stole. You'll see, don't, don't call anybody yet. The first book that I stole from the little free library in my neighborhood is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. I have already read this book. I give it two stars, but if you watched my cover tier ranking video, this is one of my favorite covers. There's just something about it that is so appealing. Simplicity and a good title. Titles actually I think get me more so than covers, but I just think this is beautiful. So I was very happy to come across this. The other book that I was floored that I actually found is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is an arc. <laughs> This book came out in 2017 and I just found it like a couple weeks ago. I am shook because this is the paperback and you actually can't find this cover in the paperback. The paperback has this awful, it's not a good cover. It's fine, but this is clearly superior and I prefer paperbacks to hardback. And so I had to buy the hardback of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So now I have two. And I'm not sorry about it. I think this is really cool. And like, I don't know if I've ever seen an arc, especially of my favorite book. Whoever put this in the Little Fury Library, thank you so much. The last book that I acquired just recently is The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. This was given to me by a friend of mine on a book swap. So this is mine until I give it back. I'll read it. I'll read it. So I read Lucy Foley's most recent book, The Guest List. It's literally right here. I should know it's called The Guest List. And I liked this one well enough. I'm excited to give this one a go. I hear people prefer Guest List to Hunting Party, uh, but I also have some video ideas for this, so keep a look at it. But in order to acquire The Hunting Party, I did a book swap with her and one of my most recent purchases that I now don't have is Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimborough, which there's a whole video on. If you haven't seen it, it's 47 minutes long. I'm so sorry, but I think it's pretty good. <laughs> That's another thing I hold. There are a couple more books that I wanna talk about before we get to the bag because they didn't fit and you'll see why right now. Skyward and Starsight by Brandon Sanderson. Any Sanderson is gonna be a chonky boy. These are the UK covers. I do have the US edition of Skyward. Here it is. It's perfectly fine, but like, come on, come on. Like, come on, I had to own this. This was an important purchase. Why do I have so many duplicates now? I swear I've never had a duplicate before and we're already at two duplicates. Oops. And the other book that didn't fit Another Brandon Sanderson, Well of Ascension. This is the sequel to Mistborn, which I also have in this edition. Does this edition have a name? 10th Anniversary Edition. I just prefer them to any of the other covers. These are all shiny. Oh, these are very pleasant. I like these. Good job, Sanderson. I approve. All right, now we can get to the bag. Let's fish something out. Christmas, even though I already bought all of these, but do I remember any of them? Probably not. We have Middle Game by Shonda McGuire. This is something that I have seen recommended so many times, mostly by Books and Lala. I did also see an Enneagram list, and I'm a five, 
if you can't tell, I'm very much a five. This was the book recommended on whatever I was looking at for fives. And it sounds really interesting. I'm really excited about it. Oh, it's only like 500 pages. Well, that's easy then. I'm not intimidated now. I could, this is fine. Should I read backs? I'm gonna read the back of this one. No, I'm not. No, you know what middle game is. You'll be fine. I'll tell you about it once I've read it. There, deal. All right, next book. Oh, Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. Oh no, it schmucked. That's too bad. Oh well. Uh, this book I mentioned in the TBR as one that I didn't own, so I have since gone out and purchased it. This is a middle grade fantasy about Navajo heritage. They can see monsters. I've also heard great things about Rebecca Roanhorse in general. Her more recent release, Black Sun, is getting all the praise right now. And this was just something that really appealed to me. All right, next book. We have Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. I think I mentioned this in a TBR. Have I read it yet? I've read like the first five pages. <laughs> but the, the text is so small. It's a lot denser than I had thought it was. Uh, but this is the book that the musical My Fair Lady is based on, which I love. It's about a man who teaches phonetics. Phonetics. And he teaches a lower class woman how to speak properly and adventures ensue. I think I've read this before in high school or something, but I wanted to give it another go. Next up, The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner with a big old sticker on it. Don't worry, I had a coupon. This has been on my radar for a while, mostly because of the beautiful cover and every time I pick it up I'm like is that really gonna be something I enjoy because I know it's historical fiction uh but then I read the back and I fall in love with it again. In 18th century London women whisper of a hidden apothecary shop and its mysterious owner Nella who sells well-disguised poisons to use against the oppressive men in their lives. Nella's dark world is no place for her newest patron, a precocious 12-year-old named Eliza Fanning, but their unexpected bond sparks a string of consequences that echoes through the centuries. 200 years later, aspiring historian Carolyn Parswell is running from her own demons when she discovers a clue to London's long unsolved apothecary murders. Carolyn's upended present soon collides with an explosive history, binding her fate to Nella and Eliza's in a stunning twist that transcends the barrier of time. Yeah. I'm sold. Next up. Kids on Strike by Susan Campbell Bar Bartoletti. This is a story about 18th century child laborers and the strike that they went on to uh, fight for fair wages and for fair working conditions. I also have a video idea for this one, so I'm excited. It looks really interesting, like there's tons of pictures in it and the font is actually really big, so I think it'll be good because I don't normally read my nonfiction. In book form, I do audiobooks, but this is the only way this is available, but I think it's it's gonna be really good. Don't fall. Next up, I, Robot by Isaac Asimov. So this is a husband pick. This is something that I know he read back in the day and was interested in rereading it. This is something that I feel like everyone knows about. It's a bit of a classic, a modern classic. When do books come out? Do I know anything about the books I buy? 1950, oh, I didn't realize that. So I think that'll be a, a very interesting read. I'm excited too, and it's itty bitty. Next book, last book, last book, is The Project by Courtney Summers. So yes, you have not heard me shut up about this book. I know, but look, it has exclusive content. So I needed it. I will be taking no further questions at this time. What's the? I'm so excited and I'm in the middle of so many books right now. It's not fair. Why can't I have two brains? Putting the dust jacket back on is too hard so it's just gonna go there. But anyway, that's the whole bag. We're done. But I just remember two more books. 
I didn't remember because I've read both of them. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas and The Decameron Project, compiled by the New York Times. It's a short story collection, so there's tons of authors in there. So Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas is the prequel to The Hate You Give, and I got a signed first edition, which is very exciting. I liked this book just okay. I'm still very excited to own it though. And then The Decameron Project, um, I just read this month. So you don't even know about this yet. Oh, fascinating. No, I mentioned it in a TBR. You'll be fine. I actually followed through on a TBR for once. You're welcome. Uh, this has 29 short stories. And what I thought was really interesting about this was a ton of them are translated. So there's 29 stories, but I think 36 contributors, counting the translators, all about pandemic life. Uh, again, I like this one just okay, but I think it's a really cool memento to own of a pandemic but hey it's my pandemic also it's so small look at these are all the like small hardcovers i have it's just so little compared to them i think you get like a big hardback and you break everything no one else cares about this you're just talking to yourself into the abyss what a weirdo so that's a book haul i'm gonna try to hold all of these now for a thumbnail because I'm an idiot. I apologize when these all inevitably fall down and scare the cat. But I guess you can leave before I do that. That's fine. Go on with your day. Thank you for watching this winter book haul. Have a lovely spring and I will see you when it is summer, I guess. That's weird. What is time? All right. Bye.